Right, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, my name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie games, I'm going to be introducing you guys to a brand new game called Fall of Porcupine. And this one is a very, very special one, a game that I've been waiting to play for the longest time ever. And I'm going to have a blast with this one. This is definitely the type of game that I always enjoy playing and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one as much as I am. Now, the game is going to be coming out on the 15th. Uh, I just got my hands on an early copy here from developers and I want to take this opportunity here, of course, to thank them for providing it, to show the game to you all, show what this game is all about and uh, of course if you want to grab the game for yourselves check out the links down below in the description the game is available on multiple platforms such as pc playstation xbox and even nintendo switch and more than this there's even a special edition of the game where uh, 10 percent of the revenue from the game is going to be given to charity also, not only that, but if you are a healthcare worker and you really like this game and you want to play it, well, guess what? You're going to be able to get it for free. Just email the developers at healthcare at porcupine.game. Uh, you are going to be able to find this one down below in the description as well. And make sure you use your work email when you're sending this one to them uh, so that developers can verify and send you a free copy of the game. All right. Anyway, guys, that being said, without further ado, let's just dive right in and see what uh, Follow Porcupine is all about. Let's do this. What is the sound? What the? <sighs> Look at him. This is gonna be the character we're gonna be playing as, of course, Finley. And we are gonna be a pigeon. <laughs> I love it. Now, I'm not even sure what the, the story here is all about. Um, I'm just jumping into the game right now. I haven't really explored the game at all. So all this is going to be brand new to me, but let's just go towards the light. Hey, Finley. Nice to see you at last. All right, so our character is going to be called Finley. Uh, why the long face? Uh, no reason. I, I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. <laughs> Who are you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way... We need to talk about her. The way my pop vibrates when you set her to spin. No. I... I don't know. I, I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What are you looking for? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> but it was important. And I think I lost it. Hmm. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important, could it? I'm sure you can wait, buddy. Uh, you think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright, warm sun. The lush grass, the bright, warm sun, and this wonderful, soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Uh, what music? I don't hear no music. Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear the music. There we go. Better? Uh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> this actually sounds nice. Colamundo! Just let your leaves angle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Uh, yeah, yeah, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lots of things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself a home. I might do that. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful out here. I just want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Pino. <laughs> oh, man. This is a, such a really, really beautiful game. Okay. But there's going to be another plant here. Well, hey there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? Uh, it's going quite well. It's really nice here. Person? I don't have a clue what I'm you're talking about. Let's go with person. What? Uh oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? We're all having a great time, am I right? So what are you gonna do now? Um, I don't know, just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? Oh wait, what? Oh, him! Yeah, that's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore though. Not since I got aphids. Wanna give it a try? Sure, why not? 
but I don't think I can get past this giant flower. Hmm. Hold on. We'll have that sorted in no time. <laughs> I think he's going to tell it to go away. <laughs> there we go. See? No problem at all. No problem? The whole ground was shaking. He goes quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves, okay? He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let me try to climb on top of this guy. So, this is kind of like a tutorial telling me that I can do a little bit of jumps like that. Hopefully, I'm not going to break any of his leaves. There we go. Psst. Hey, Finstar! Up here! Oh, how did you get all the way up there? Uh, I'm applying on many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? <laughs> I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Hmm. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Hmm. Check it? <laughs> Alright. Let's just dive in the water then. There we go. Oh, look at this water though. Oh, no way, hold up. The plant is actually underwater as well. Are you kidding me? What is the guy doing here? You made it after all. Uh, you know me. I never pass on a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. <laughs> then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No, no I don't like water. Hmm. So you want me to stop watering you then? That, that's different. You would understand. It's a flower thing. Actually, maybe we could just get out of here? Alright, alright, alright. Let's get out of here then. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, wait. This is a statue. What is that? Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? Hmm. I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? Ah, no response. How rude! Of course, it's the statues. Statues do not talk. Alright, let me try to uh, get out of the water then. Since uh, our plan doesn't like it, let's just get out. Wait, I cannot get out through here? I'm loving the big eyes of the character though. It's absolutely lovely. Hey, Finmeister, there you are. What's taking so long? Hmm, you're looking better already. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? <laughs> that moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first trickle of a photosynthesis kick in, there's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? <laughs> Finley, you live with me. Uh, Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Hmm. Finley, Foley, Dingley, Dongley. It's all the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this place seems kind of familiar. Hmm. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. So, you sure do have some strange notions, eh? So, have you found what you're looking for? Uh, no. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone, maybe. Well, congrats. You found one. <laughs> your very best flower friends. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I, uh, I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for, uh, here on the beach? Alright, but don't get too stubborn. After all, I'm not aloe vera. <laughs> Alright, little guy. Let's keep her going. Oh, can I get past this one? Can I climb on top? Huh, <laughs> huh. Jump on top of the castle. Oh, what the? This thing bounced me all the way to the sky. Am I heaven? Kind of looks like we are in heaven right now. Who's this one? Ingrid, nice to see you here. Uh, do you happen to know where... Hmm, where Mr. Andros is? 
Mr. Andres, I was looking for Mr. Andres. Uh, he's a patient of ours, and he disappeared. Hmm. I was taking the elevator, and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndt. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Uh, sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversation, but I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndt's. Uh, we'll catch up again soon, I promise. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, so maybe I was in the elevator, and the elevator fell? That's how I made my way up here? What? Is that kind of like a portal? Huh. Uh, Miss Anders has to be here somewhere. Hmm. Hello? Miss Anders? Can you hear me? Doesn't look like he can. Um, okay, let me go to the right side then. Let's see what we can find here. This looks like a really creepy place. I mean, this looks like a hospital, yeah, but it looks like everything has been absolutely destroyed. The light is super dark as well. Oh, wait, are these blood splatters? Hmm. Hello? Is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital beds. Hmm. Strange place for an office. I guess everybody has uh, their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh. There's someone back there. Hmm. Mr. Anders, is that you? What is even happening? Oh, wait. That's... Blood. Hmm. It's still fresh. Oh, what the? Is this Mr. Anders? Mr. Anders, you're bleeding. Don't, don't move. What? Who? Who are you? Just, just stay calm, okay? I I'm gonna help you. What is happening? Is, is anyone there? We need help. Hello? Oh, what? Are you kidding me? So is that how I just got knocked? I don't even know what's happening, but this is super strange. <laughs> I love it how the alarm, how that beeping sound from the hospital just changed into a uh, mobile phone alarm. We got a message from Mia. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat, then you can finally tell me all about what happened. Hmm. Besides, you were only trying to help me, Mr. Anders. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. This is Pina. Crazy didn't have any plans until now, by the way. I can't imagine what's uh, that like. Got it, I remember. An empty uh, satchel I gave you into the soil three days from now on. Oh, there's so many messages actually you can go through. Pina here, 30 texts you so uh, you have my number. How's it going? Work you be busy? Hey Pina, yeah, definitely. She'll come down soon enough. Uh, hard things around the store. Interesting. We got mom and my brother. Oh, so many messages from the mom. Okay, but let you know if you need anything, okay? I'll be there, I'll be there right away. Will do. Thanks, mom. It's fine, mom. Uh, I can be on the next train. What do you need? Do you have someone to order your shopping for you? Uh, no, everything's fine. Just a bump on the head. Nothing serious. Ah, so I'm guessing everybody texted me as we got hurt. What? What's wrong? Do you need me to come over? Let's schedule a break right now. Had a little accident at work on a sick leave for a few days. Uh huh. I get it. I get it. What about my brother? No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation right now. Oh, too bad. Will I be home for dad's birthday this year? Okay, okay. So I guess that's how you can kind of get a little bit of um, an idea of your family members and friends. Oh, man, another of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. <laughs> uh, what do you mean give up sleeping altogether? Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Yeah, just get up, buddy. Let's just enjoy, enjoy the day, shall we? 
Uh, we do have the plant. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as nothing happens. You've given me quite a restless night. It's alright for you. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find sand, if I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. <laughs> I used to game with my roommates every night when we were at the university. She always kicked my butt in the one-to-one -one vacuum battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Hmm, fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Oh, we just changed. <laughs> that was awesome. I got a hippo mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a uh, sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription for the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. There we go. So is this going to be uh, Porcupine Town? I don't even know where I want to go first. Some people have a bakery within walking distance, or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. <laughs> okay, so we can go to the left side. I'm going to try to explore as much as I can possibly... Oh, we can jump up here. That is unexpected. Why well, walk down below where we can actually climb on top of things? Hmm. Can I also go up here as well? We can. It's kind of nice watching the trains chug off onto the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. Okay, so I cannot go that way because apparently uh, it's under construction. So maybe that's going to open up at one point. Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there that's uh, been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with terrible heliotosis. <laughs> Whatever that is. I'm not a medic, I don't know. Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the uh, champ chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny, I call it chaos, or their life. And you, seeing this note right now, are part of it. Consider yourself lucky, but please don't sit in my chair. <laughs> I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. Hmm, looks like this is already reserved. Okay. I cannot sit on the chair. Can I jump on the water? No. Well, in that case, I guess I'm just about to take the right path. And probably going to have to come to the left path here um, a little bit later on. Once uh, some other characters have shown up. And uh, let me explore the right side of the uh, town. This is already looking absolutely lovely, guys. I'm really loving the look of the game. Hey, fella. Can I interact with him, though? Hmm, that bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there in winter come, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Okay, I'm gonna remember that. Hey, we got a mailman. Can I actually chat with him? Morning, Finley. Running late? Uh, hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a rest night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running, just on the spot, for no reason. That definitely comes from work. <laughs> I heard Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the storm. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Hmm, lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. Hmm, true, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Ah, I think I now have a mission that I can go and check. So these are the notes, right? Uh, Susie. Susie is the only mail carrier in the porcupine. She knows everyone perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own goods. Oh man, I'm loving it. So this is where we can actually meet or um, read about other people in town. Mia started as an intern on the same day as I did. Uh, it's her first job too, but I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Then we got Carl. Carl is a nurse on my words. Uh, she approached me on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Uh, Krakowski. 
Uh, he has been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. Uh, he is well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to uh, Gilbert's. There, I met some new people from Porcupine. I also love it that all the characters in the game are all animals. And not only that, but seeing the size of their eyes, <laughs> that is super awesome. Can I climb on top of things? Oh, you can't climb on top of things. What? So can I climb up here? You can. There's a note there. Hmm. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for you to understand. Look on the bright sides. With few prices the way they are, walking's a better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Hmm. Suits me just fine. Why did I just buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Can I climb on top of these things? It doesn't look like we can. From here, I can get to the old town and the uh, high street. It's weird that passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that Peanut Store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometimes. The old town lives up to its name at, le at least. Small crooked old houses, the town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's of course. The best, the only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes led to St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh, okay. So we have this one going to the top and the other one going to the bottom. I don't even know which one I want to check first, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go down here, I guess. Oh, you know what? I think this one is uh, blocked. Hey, kids. Rosie closed. Can't let you through here. Hmm. So, how do I get to St. Ursula's Hospital? Why is it all closed? Is that you on the poster? Let's go with that. You trying to insult me, buddy? No, I'm just saying. Watch out. I'm not staying here because I love dust and drills. And I won't let newcomers like you give us sats from the sidewalk. Uh, Alright, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I should hope not. The guy on the poster looks nothing like me. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, who'd confuse you with that guy? Only someone who needs their eyes t tested. Hmm, that's what I'm saying. Alright. Um, why is the road closed? Construction work today. We're building here. Stones, wood, steel, cement. Hmm. Ah, I see. So that's what building is? <laughs> yep, someone like you would understand. Okay, buddy. Um, it's okay. I'll look for another way. Yep, you do that. Now, I see that there's a phone number on this thing. It's 02117 something. Uh, I was hoping that I could actually use the phone here to maybe call somebody. But um, I don't think you can actually call anybody using the phone. So because of that, let me take this other path. There are going to be two paths that will let us get to the hospital. But apparently the one at the bottom is not open just yet. So let's keep on going here. Can I check this out? It's so clear, so you can see the uh, Glomic Woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. I mean, are we not off at the moment? I know that working uh, in healthcare requires a very, very lousy appointment uh, schedule, I, sh I should say. But uh, let's see what this guy's gonna say. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? <laughs> Good morning. No, 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 no. I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Uh, yeah, actually, I started at St. Arsenal's Hospital a few weeks ago. So, you're a doctor? Yeah, well, almost a junior doctor. Hmm, that's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele von Winterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. Some are in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You? I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yeah, but only because I need to get to work. Hmm. Well, one should never throw rocks in the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometimes... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folks than me to keep alive there. Hmm. Loving that character. And I think I just got some information about it. Um. Wait, who is she? Oh, it's Adele. 
Adele von Wunderstein. Graceful, elegant, eccentric. I met her this morning at the market. Uh, she seems to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I never much cared for history myself, uh, but I'd love to know a bit more about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. Yep, we're definitely gonna remember that. For now, let us see what this is. That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Hey, good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in the bed for a while. Hmm. Thought as much. Uh, the band-aid gives you away. Everything good with you? Uh, yeah, I'll be alright, don't worry. I'm sure you will. You wanna cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by anytime, okay? Yeah, thanks, Giuliano. I might just take up on that. Alright, and we got ourselves some more information about Giuliano as well. Uh, hold up. Can I... Cannot read up. Hello? Uh, Gilbert is the only bar in Porcupine. I've been here once or twice already and had a reasonable good time. Juliana once got into an argument with someone called Rolf, but I guess that's uh, to be expected when you're the owner of the bar. Plus, he's actually pretty laid back. Alright, Juliano. See you later, buddy. Let me try to get to work here. Oh, and this is the statue that I actually saw in the water. Hmm, that's the big town fountain. It's a statue of Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't there water running? Hmm, seems to be broken. Maybe this is gonna be my quest to uh, fix up the fountain. Somehow. I'm not a mechanic or anything, but maybe that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, and this one is gonna take us to a bear? Maybe that's actually the uh, symbol of Ursula, the hospital. Hmm, this rusty old truck wasn't here the last time I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even 10 dead bodies? Is there super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth for all the things? The answer to get the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal, reveal secrets! <laughs> Not yet, buddy. Not yet. Alright, so we have another path at the top and one at the bottom. Oh, there's a bench up there. And I have a feeling if I go up there, I might actually be able to interact with that. There's a plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation uh, of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav von Otaras, the founder of Porcupine, planted himself. He has known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a, t a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. 40 days later, he found them on his very spot. Hmm. Sounds like something I will do. <laughs> Hold up, let me check on the bench real fast. Actually, I cannot check on the bench, never mind. Let's keep it going then. St. Ursula's Hospital is this way. Yeah, I know. The hospital seems to be pretty far away from... Um, Mm. From the town itself. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> that is an awesome slogan. This statue's out here every day. Hmm. From dawn to dusk, come rain or shine, it's never complained. How do you do it? Hmm. Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. Well, a guy can dream. Okay. That also looks like something that needs to be fixed. The hospital is huge. Still, you can easily get lost in here. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operation table. That's why you should always pay attention to the sign kids. Alright buddy, let's go in. It took us quite a while to make it back to work. The good old vending machine, a handy source of breakfast, or an end shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have constant in uh, consistency in life. Still, I couldn't say no to a Chuck Dog right now. Every morning, they gleam through the glass, looking at me or laughing at me, just like they've been doing since before I was even born, and still be long after I'm gone. That ought to leave us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up their vending machines. What was this machine's purpose? 
What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get all the tasty treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. <laughs> hey, I love it how we're dressing up. And now we're a, doc a doctor, I guess. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Yeah, morning, Grid. Yeah, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the uh, fifth floor. Yeah, me too, actually. You want to hear my theory? Um... Sure, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So, what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of things here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technology term that aims to define the social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? <laughs> the term is... Klutz. <laughs> so are you saying I'm klutz? Nah, I'm just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Arndt's? Ah, uh, the old duffer is still alive. Make himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Hmm, okay. I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while. But because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who survived. <laughs> Very funny. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, uh, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt over to your words. On the first floor, just in case uh, the dent on your head uh, caused more damage than we thought. <laughs> I know where my word is. That's good. Hop onto it before Dr. Krauski rips her head off. Ah, you're right. I'll get going. Oh, seriously. Is that a little bit of trash that I gotta get rid of? Because apparently I cannot get rid of it. Can I grab it? Ugh. This is the cafeteria. But I don't have time for breakfast net now. Uh, I can already feel Dr. Krakowski's ice breath on my neck. Then again... Nah, better not risk it. Alright, let me go to the uh, third floor, I think she said it was. Uh, use the elevator. Use the elevator. Uh, I th think this is the third floor. Yeah, I think this is the third floor. Oh god, this is Dr. Krakowski. Uh, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. Hmm, I'm early. Really? <laughs> of course not. You're horrifically late again. Let me guess, the bus didn't come? Actually, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I... The bus is unreliable, it cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Okay, got it? Yeah, uh, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. If it's not too much trouble, uh, we'll start around in room 300 and, oh, uh, 301. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go. Man, I love it that all the characters are uh, animals, though. So, here's Mrs. Uh, Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Ah, uh, Miss Martin. A woman after my own heart. Miss Martin is in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of a heartburn, nausea, and loss of her appetite. Yeah, but the real reason was a uh, sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain, I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, um, come on, spit it out. Oh, um, yes? <laughs> ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Hmm, is that a question or your answer? M my answer? <laughs> Bingo, the reason for the symptom is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause though. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, uh, we'll probably keep you up here for one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax, okay? Finley, you take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue room 303. Chop chop! <laughs> oh man, the way we're actually gonna move on from one room to the other. Ouch. Alright, we'll be back, we'll be back. Let me just go on to uh, the next room here. 
So next up is going to be 303, which is this one. Well, Larissa, how are you today? Hmm, quite okay, Dr. Ski. <laughs> it's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Uh, like last night? Uh, that's right. Careful. Hmm, he's coughing when he's trying to do it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yeah, well, I can do that, Dr. K. Well, I was down at the school with the others. We were at the back of the uh, skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my uh, birthday, but I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on, the, on purpose uh, to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch them up. Very good, but uh, what were you all doing up at the uh, school? Oh, um, well, it was like this. My buddy Crystal stole some cigarettes from his uh, stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you gotta smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. Uh, he lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friend called an ambulance quickly. So, yeah, that's it, really. Hmm. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all too well. Well then, care to share your opinions with my valued colleagues? Um, what do you think, Finley? Hmm. I don't know. Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't get away, Larissa. Oh, uh, okay, sorry, uh, Dukowski. <laughs> asthma. It could have been uh, an attack. An asthma attack? Yeah, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my sister Larissa, you probably wouldn't have uh, thought of it. <laughs> Good. Larissa, keep doing your breath exercise, okay? But just don't overdo it, okay? You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this patient. It's Willie Anders. I assume the name rings a bell? Uh, Mr. Anders, yes? Yeah, he's a permanent guest of our ward. Mr. Anders is an old-timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of the shapes right now. So act accordingly. All right, will do. So next up, we are going to check on Mr. Anders, of course. The one that we uh, keep on talking about. Which is going to be P33, I think she said. That's P31, P32, and... P33 right over here. But I got to wait for uh, Dr. Krukowski. They're quite slow, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Anders. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Hmm, Dr. Krakowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Henrik. Uh, to what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Anders, of course. I heard he was on demand. I had to say, uh, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been uh, through a lot. This incident has been a great concern to us over the past few days, as you know, of course. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unsettling from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Henrik. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire the dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've already arranged Mr. Anders to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. 
he'll be well looked after here around the clock. The rest will also help with his uh, age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yeah, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess uh, Mr. Anders' condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Hmm, understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Well then, uh, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. I'm guessing this is kind of like the uh, hospital manager. Oh, and if you need any extra hands on your team, uh, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Alright, buddy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, good morning, Miss Anders. You know my daughter looks exactly like you. Yep, yes she does. Well, isn't she that lucky one? <laughs> How are you feeling today? Uh, I just told you, didn't I? Uh, I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Miss Anders. Well, uh, what are you doing here then? Uh, I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. Hmm, when's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay then, go ahead. Finley? Uh, yeah? Miss Anders suffers from dementia but is still relatively fit as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the uh, fermentation's uh, accidents. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Miss Anders' dressings? It's important to keep dressing fresh. We can also take a look at the wounds. You want me to change the dressing right now? You can ask Mr. Anders if he wants to do it uh, himself, if you prefer. He can be any worse than you. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Anders. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm. Do I know you? Yes, uh, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salads. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Anders? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? <laughs> all this stress has been hard on Mr. Anders. Now, let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Uh, okay. Alright, so I guess uh, what I gotta do is... Uh, dress him up. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the button shown on the screen to, ad uh, to administrate the treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. I uh, get it. So, let us see if I can do this right. We got... Oh, God. Oh, I gotta press down, actually. Uh, we got A then. We got X. Next, we got hold left. LT, RT... Y, LB, uh, right over here, left, right, LT, RT, and I think we got it. Awesome. Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge very soon. That would be nice, Mr. Krakowski. Doctor. No, 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 I'm not a doctor. Just an absent-minded old fool. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you all the tasks for today's shift. That was not that bad. That was actually not that bad. So apparently we're also going to have to uh, take care of patients. Not just chat with them. Uh, but I guess this is also where I'm going to be able to get myself some uh, tasks that we got to do today. Uh, maybe here? Are we going to keep on going? Okay, there we go. There you are. Back to full health, I trust. Yep, all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. Uh, in that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's task in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records. But Hendrik and uh, Thorbald won't stop singing their, their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the words have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving uh, us any time. Anyway, uh, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. So if I go in here... Ah, so this is how you get the task, right? Downloading today's task. 
So this is today's schedule updated. There we go. So apparently I gotta go on 301, 303, and 304. All right. The fall tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? Uh, I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you completed all the tasks. And make sure you don't collect any more uh, band-aids in your face by the end of the day. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort, do ya? Alright, so we have to go and check on 301, 303, and 304. And also, these are the notes uh, where you can go ahead and check on... Wait, what? Why is this one not going up? So this one's Heinrich. And then we got... Ingrid. Interesting. Alright, in that case, let me go to 301 over here. Because apparently I gotta give the uh, pills to one of the patients. Which is... Her. Hello! There you are again. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Martin. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Uh, yeah, I prefer that too. How are you? Uh, you know. I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have a uh, heartburn? I always have a uh, heartburn. Had it for years. Yeah, a stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter. And my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Miss uh, Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Mm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an, uh, ul an, uh, an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for stomach, though it can give your heartburn. Can you do something about it? It's lucky you came to see us early. That's good. Last night's test showed that you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. What do you think it will help? Alright, let's see then. So, uh, we also have to prescribe some medication. Let us see how we can do this one. I think... Wait, what? How do you even do this right? Uh, I think what you gotta do is make sure... Yeah, I think I know, I think I know. Uh, next up I gotta add green and red. Oh, this one's adding orange though. So if I add this one, that's good. Then I can use this one. Oh, you know what? I think I got it right, yeah. I think you gotta add these pills properly uh, so they do not go past or not touch the lines, right? So if I prescribe it like this, it's probably gonna be a perfect prescription. Treatment complete. Ooh, we got an A. I think that's good. <laughs> well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with my pain. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. I wonder if you do these medications um, or these prescriptions bad, are the patients gonna die? Imagine. That would be absolutely horrible. Alright, next up is gonna be uh, 303, which is right over here. I think I gotta hear, to, uh, I think I gotta listen to this kid's breathing. Hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. I'm Philly. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, doctor. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? <laughs> I'm afraid so, but don't worry. It's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it's a little bit cold most of the time. But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Mm, yeah, okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, press the button shown on the screen at the right moment, arrow keys. Hold left when a button appears on the top of the button line. Okay. Uh, so we got... A. 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 Oh! How do you... Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I got it now.
Yeah, I understand how this works now. I was a little bit confused at the start. It's not going to be a perfect one because we missed a few. But we still got an A. That really was only cold for a second. <laughs> what did you hear, Doc? Mm, nothing to bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Uh, yeah, kinda. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. But I didn't swallow it, I promise. Hmm, actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? Um... Have you ever heard of asthma? Yeah, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It could be asthma, but we're still running some tests. And if it is asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. Promise? I promise. Okay. <laughs> Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible, okay? I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Alright, we finished up with room 303 then. Uh, next up is going to be 304. And apparently on 304, we're going to have to probably change some uh, band-aids. So let's see what it's all about. Good morning, Mr. Helmink. You've just had thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm uh, very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Please, take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you just had surgery. But once the wounds have healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I hate to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressing and take a quick look at your uh, sutures. All right, so we've got a person A, X, Y, and B. Then it's X, uh, left, uh, left here, A, left again, right, RT, uh, down, down, A, LT. There we go, we got it. It's a little bit difficult to press all these buttons because it just has your fingers kind of like going all over the controller. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. Alright, I think we are done with all the tasks that we um, had for today. So next up, I gotta make my way back to Dr. Krakowski and I'll tell her that we're done. This wasn't that bad. This was not that bad at all, actually. All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Uh, pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Achievement unlocked. That'll do, pigeon. <laughs> and I got and I got A's on all of them. Uh, she gave me an S on the evaluation. Okay. Uh, I have another task for you, though. I'm giving you the opportunity to save some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure. What can I do? I need to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The doors on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Hellel and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? <laughs> as long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed. Okay, off you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Hellel. Got it. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna be guessing we gotta go all the way to the basement. That's floor number one over here. Zero. And guessing this is the basement. Um, has to be right. Oh god. Who's drawing around these things? Uh, is this gonna be the basement? The hospital archives. Nope. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper if the smell is anything to do to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Uh, the thing is, this is not what I was going for. It's gonna be on the left side then. I mean, I'm guessing I'm in the basement, right? Yeah, maybe this is the lab. Locked. Hmm. Hello? See that red light above the door? 
that what oh yeah i see it good good excellent well then so i'm here to you see the red light don't you yes i see the red light a red light usually means something's very busy Prohib prohibited negative no access or simply no but i need to get the blood urgently for dr krakowski Dr. Kakaosi, is it? Ah, uh, I see. That does alter the parameters uh, somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm... Um, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. <laughs> Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light? Don't ya? You see a green light, don't ya? Ugh. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy's gonna be pretty annoying. All right, let's see what he is. All right, here I am. Whoa, what are you doing here? Uh, I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. Uh, and? <laughs> and what? The light, was it green? Uh, yes, it was green. <laughs> Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So, why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have the results around here somewhere. Seriously, buddy? Uh, apparently not here. How about here? Now, where are we? Ah, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distance between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work too. And now, you too can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all... Please don't drop that. I knew he would do that! Seriously, dude? Oh no! Oh horror! What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. Hmm, my whole system. I... Uh, let me just put things right back. It'll be all right again in no time. Oh, 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 is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Uh, why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's an easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accidents. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the sample colors are facing the right way. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single color square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples fell out of the slot in. It's quite simple. Uh, I hope I got it. You're very smart. Alright, let's do this. So am I supposed to actually help him put them all back together? Hmm. Wait, what? I'm a little bit confused. Uh, uh, what? So am I only supposed to place these ones in place, in position? This one. Wait. I'm super confused right now, but I'm pretty sure this one goes here. Uh, this one probably goes here. <laughs> yeah, I'm super confused about this one. Uh, I don't know. Let's do it like that. Is it working? Because I'm super confused about this one. And nothing I'm play uh, pressing works right now. Oh, wait, what? Ah, I understand. So you gotta make squares everywhere. Interesting. So that's red, 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 and red. Right? Is that how it's supposed to work? So if I got red, 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 
This is orange. Ah, so now we need blue over here. Okay, I understand. So this is green. Okay, okay, okay. This took me a while to figure it out. But eventually we got it. Green over here. Yellow. Pink and orange. Okay, perfect. Next we need yellow. Green. Blues. Yellow. Green. Yellow. And we got it. Awesome. Alright, this was a little bit complicated to figure out. You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I I had better get back to uh, I had better get back to my work. Um Dr. Hellel? Was there something else, dear doctor? The result for Dr. Kukowski? Oh, right, right, Dr. Kukowski. Why didn't you say that? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. <laughs> this guy. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy! And please, don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? <laughs> oh, my pleasure, buddy. I actually gotta make my way back to uh, Dr. Kukowski and deliver the uh, thing in my jig. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the stairs back again. There we go. That's floor one. Two. And we're back to three. Alright, Dr. Kukowski, I got you thinking my jig. Here are the blood results, Dr. Kukowski. And what it takes so long? Did the buzz of the lab not turn up? <laughs> nah, I had to help Dr. Hello sort of some samples. You had to help him? Yeah, I hmm. Did you see Dr. Hello here tending to the patients at the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. Dr. Osula is a funny tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a little bit up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. Hmm, got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Kukowski. <laughs> well, I guess um, we're completely done for the day. Use the elevator. That was not that bad. I actually enjoy the first day here. Another day done. Any trouble getting back into the groove? You were only off sick for a few days. But it's funny how quickly you forget things sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Things didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. Kukowski, huh? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with this, sweetie. Dr. Kukowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's a tough cookie. So, make an effort, kiddo. Who knows, you might even learn something. <laughs> I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. You too. See you tomorrow. Well, as I was saying, that was not half bad. And I love it how we're changing clothes every time we're going back and forth. In and out of the hospital, I guess. Oh man, it's already nighttime. Seriously. Jeez. Yeah, working in healthcare is not easy. Not easy at all. The schedule is actually quite crazy and of course the bus is not gonna be here to pick me up which means I'm gonna just have to walk back home to be honest I don't mind that because this is a really really pretty game a really really pretty game oh hold up there's a person here I can actually interact with uh, this evening isn't it lovely the warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it the golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep uh, how wonderful I feel the need to say something profound. I think I'll resist the urge though. <laughs> Alright buddy. I love that we can also use our wings to kind of like fly a little bit. That weird truck is still here. Oh! What the? Take it easy now. I don't want any trouble. I should probably leave. What was that? That was creepy. <laughs> that was super super creepy. But I know for sure that we barely started playing the game and uh, creepy things are about to go down very soon. Pretty sure about it. Oh! Who's this guy? What do you want, peep squeak? Can you let me smoke here in peace? Hey, I know you! You're one of that hospital gang, aren't ya? What are that little buddy buddies pals? You mean Carl? 
Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Um, sure thing, buds. Not sure what's up with this fella. So if we go to the notes. Oh, uh, that's Roman. What is the new character that we just met? I cannot see him here. Okay, never mind. Let's keep it going. Oh, can I go in the bar, I wonder? I can hear voices coming from Gilbert. Juliana is probably in full flow already, hanging out drinks left and right center. But I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow, right? I need to sleep. Finally clocking off for the day, huh? Yeah, a long day at last. You're still here too, I see. Still? Please. I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So, what now? Off to paint the town red? Uh, no, not today. I'm too exhausted. Exhausted? At your age? Uh, you should probably enjoy yourself while you can. Believe me, I used to be a real life wire, a young tearaway. I can still cut on a rug at the dance floor? Just as long as the music's right. Then I'll have the joints shaking, believe you me. I used to be the last one standing every Friday night. Hmm, I don't doubt it. But I'll have to pass today. Morning shift, you understand. Ah, alright, alright. But let me tell you, if I sleep as much as your age, uh, I'd be even older than I'm now. <laughs> alright, buddy, but I'm tired. I had a long day, I gotta rest. And I have a strange feeling that I'm probably gonna have another one of those dreams as I'm gonna go to sleep. Man, home is so far away. Hopefully I do fix the bus soon so I can start using it. Because at the moment that is not an option. Alright, finally made it home. I can't wait to just flop into bed. Off to bed, I want to be uh, in good form tomorrow. I think I'll just get a little bit more air. Off to bed. Good night world. <laughs> Go! More! Morning! <laughs> I'm alert! I'm up for it! I can't do anything! I'm on top of the world! <laughs> uh, that's what I should say right now if I were the kind of guy who cares himself on the mirror every morning. Hmm. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful, awful band-aid too. Almost 7 years of studying medicine and I can finally take a band-aid off without it, uh, without it hurting. <laughs> Maybe I do have what it takes. <laughs> that was super funny. But look at that guys, we just woke up in time, ready for another day in job. Apparently I didn't have a dream as I was expecting. But anyway guys, that being said, this is going to be the end of the first episode of Fall of Porcupine. It has been a little bit of a long one, but we had to go through the game a little bit to understand how it works. And uh, try to see what the game is all about, of course. I'm currently really enjoying it. You got, hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And uh, when we come back in the next one, we're definitely going to have to jump on in, do some more healthcare work, go back to the hospital and save more people. And that being said, of course, if you guys are actually working in the healthcare system, uh, do not forget that you can actually get this game for free. If you are the kind of person that also enjoys playing some games from time of time just make sure you email developers by using the email down below in the description send them an email through your work email of course and they will be able to hook you up with a free game and if you're not working in the healthcare system check out the links down below in the description buy the game for yourselves enjoy because this is a really precious one and i'll see you on the next one really soon bye